parliamentary showdown in store as both sides of politics go on the attack over Utegate. The special investigation that shows this kind of behaviour is on the rise. Sydney's tough water restrictions eased. And celebrating the shortest day of the year, Aussie style. <laughs> this is Nine News with Mark Ferguson. Good evening. Federal Parliament is set for a fiery session tomorrow with tempers on both sides flaring over the so-called Utegate scandal. Opposition leader Malcolm Turnbull says Treasurer Wayne Swan has given favourable treatment to a car dealer mate of the Prime Minister and must resign. The government says Mr Turnbull is up to his neck in the circulation of an email and should stand down if he can't authenticate it. Gloomy weather in Canberra matched the dark mood of a Prime Minister giving his opposite number a deadline. Stephanie Brands with Sport is next and Steph, they're doing the Eagle Rock in Manly tonight. In style, Mark, the Premiers are back in the hunt to defend their title. The Eagles defying a courageous oh, Canberra. And Mark Webber hot while rivals hit the wall in the build-up to the British Grand Prix. The Sea Eagles are back. Despite a disastrous start to the season, the defending Premiers are in the top eight after today's win over Canberra. The Cowboys sent the Roosters' season from bad to worse. The Storm pipped the Tigers by two points, while the Eagles held off the Raiders to win 20 points to 14. The Eagles defied the absence of five players on origin duty. Tony Williams one-hander providing 18-year-old Kieran Foran with a perfect first-grade debut. And pushing championship leader Jensen Button down to sixth. Qualifying came to a crashing halt for Force India's Adrian Sutil, who was lucky to walk away after losing control in the opening session. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen to Mark Weather. Good luck to him. Sunday drivers. Good on you, Steph. Thank you. After the break, all the weather details for the start of the working week. To the weather details now, and it was a patchy day across Sydney with grey skies but not too much rain. The clouds did keep the cold away. The city reached a top of 19 degrees, that's two above average, 17 at Richmond. Widespread cloud in a trough over New South Wales is causing the patchy conditions. In our capital cities tomorrow, a shower or two developing in Melbourne. Rainy periods also for Brisbane, a top of 19 degrees. Here in Sydney, another wet one tomorrow with rain easing in the afternoon, a top of 18 degrees for the city. 19 at Penrith. Looking ahead, the middle of the working week should be mostly sunny with tops of 20 degrees. Then the chance of a shower from Friday onwards, a top of 18 for next weekend. And in our west, mostly sunny on Tuesday and Wednesday, warming up to 21 degrees. And it looks like those showers might make a return on Friday, just in time for the weekend. On 60 Minutes tonight, the battle for one of the last great wilderness areas on Earth. That is the news for this Sunday. I'm Mark Ferguson. Good night.